And you at 10, the stars are shining bright for the astronomy department at the U of A. Chief Meteorologist Matt Broad tells us why. Hey, All right, Matt. John, this story literally out of this world. One local astronomer has taken the national spotlight with one of her recent discoveries. Sometimes you uh, study something and at the background you recognize it and boom, you find it. <laughs> that discovery, PGC 1000714, a discovery of galactic proportions for Dr. Bunchen at the University of Arizona. It's very rare to discover any galaxy, but the one Buchin discovered is exceptionally rare. Her galaxy is a double-ringed elliptical galaxy, so rare that it received extreme international attention. The majority of known and discovered galaxies are spiral galaxies, similar to our own, the Milky Way. So this finding was literally out of this world for Dr. Buchin. I thought, okay, there must be something wrong. I most likely I made a mistake in my analysis and I need to double check because, you know, it shouldn't be there. <laughs> Buchin grew up in Turkey and her journey into the outer limits was not an easy one. Everyone told me that, oh, girls cannot study science. They do, don't do science. So I challenged that and I've obtained a high scholarship in Turkey for the highest uh, ranked physics uh, program in Turkey. And I was the only female in my year. With hard work and determination, Buchin defied the odds of being a young Turkish woman, making it through a challenging program and reaching the stars. After my college, I come to America. Freedom, I can wear whatever I want and I can leave my own fate. That was amazing. We won't be visiting Buchin's galaxy anytime in the near future. The galaxy, well, it's 360 million light years away. You think this is far? Well, not so fast. If we think about it, this is one of the nearby galaxies. Buchin's name will soon live on for eternity in the cosmos. We are planning to add the name Buchin's galaxy. And Buchin will continue doing the work she loves right here at the University of Arizona. Look in deeper and deeper in sky and search for the unknown. It's amazing. Uh, just a wonderful story. So what's next for Buchin? Well, this April she will travel to Vancouver where she's going to deliver a talk on the TED stage. In the studio, I'm meteorologist News 4 Tucson.